Hey everyone, welcome to another Goodie Reader unboxing video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. We have here the $50 Fire Tablet. This is a seven inch tablet. It's been out for a few months. Yeah. What's exciting about this? Well, it's one of the first Fire or Kindle e-readers to actually have an SD card. Um, for a number of years and what's more is you could upgrade this to 128 gigs that's massive default there's eight gigs of internal storage so there's it's whether you have an sd card or not there's a lot of media capabilities there but this way it's like you can have your ebook collection your music collection a number of videos and be good to go um this, because it's $50, Amazon did have to sacrifice a number of things. First of all, the resolution is only 1024 by 600. Yeah, it's pretty low. And um, there's one gig of RAM, and it has actually like a quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor, so it's fairly speedy. Everyone and their mom's got a quad core nowadays, but yeah, it's not bad for 50 bucks. Yeah, so what we're gonna do today is unbox this, show you everything that comes inside, hopefully power it on for the first time, and then during our full review video, we'll actually go hands on. The, bat the box looks like a lunch sack. Look at it. It looks like a bag lunch. It's very interesting because none of the other, this is the only one that has done this. Every other Fire tablet and Kindle device either tapers the top, but none of them have had this super soft, not rigid bag at all. So I imagine with shipping, it can uh, be very dangerous for your device. Wow, yeah, that's touching the cardboard on the outside. And we've had a lot of problems with um, couriers and shipping over the years. Oh. Wow, okay. Uh, we have a my, uh, USB on one end and a 110 volt outlet on the other end, which goes into your wall. And we have a USB cable, micro USB on one end and full USB on the other end for charging your device and transferring data. Here's the very, very quick tutorial on what everything is, SD card. Finally an SD card, crazy. And the device itself. First thing I saw was the SD card. That's so crazy. No, the first Kindle e-reader had an SD card. Every other Kindle, Amazon device, anything they made didn't have an SD card. I don't even remember if the Fire Phone has an SD card or not. It's crazy. So what they're going for is the Kindle Basic kind of plastic. It's that really hard plastic that has not a whole lot of grip. Doesn't leave a lot of fingerprints, so that's nice. You have a single speaker on the bottom. Uh, Amazon embossed piano finish logo camera on the top. The camera incidentally is 2 megapixels for the rear facing and 0 0.3 megapixels oh, for the front facing. Oh, gotta love that 2015 technology. So you have a power button up top, you have the micro SD, uh, micro USB, we have a uh, microphone, you have volume up and down, 3.5 mil headphone jack, nothing on either the sides or the bottom except for the Expandable storage right there, 128 gigabyte available stand, uh, upgradable SD card via micro SD card. So this is the main home screen, basically shows like all the apps, here's like all the different sections, videos, games, the store, music, audiobooks. Everything's listed up top here when they're grayed out you have to click on them to access them. You can either swipe or press the individual uh, icon, the header. You can drop the top down as most Android devices can to reveal additional settings, airplane modes, uh, do not disturb, Wi-Fi settings, and then your alerts, anything from Facebook, Twitter, social media feeds, whatnot. It's very similar to most Android devices. Uh, when you open something up, and then you go to home, you can always access that again by pressing the more button and that'll give you access to all your previously accessed apps. So it's basically just a standard Android layout with a little bit of skinning with a Android um, Amazon touch to it. Yeah, this is, I think, running Bellini. Yeah, the newest of the alcoholic drink named Android versions. So Amazon tends to always push out firmware updates to give you features, but just to give you kind of like an overview, if you've never had an Amazon tablet before, Amazon basically has like their entire ecosystem. They have their own app store. They have cloud storage for photos. Um, 
they have a lot of similarities with like Apple in, in terms of like they provide end to end solutions. So when you're getting this tablet, you're basically doing business with all things Amazon. Although because it's an Android tablet, you do have the capabilities to sideload in your own apps, whether you want to load in an alternative app store or whether you want to load in apps that maybe Amazon doesn't have in its own app store. But yeah, I mean, from watching videos through Amazon Instant Video to audiobooks via Audible, there is a ton of content here. So we're going to get more into this during our comprehensive hands-on review, but we wanted to really kind of show you when you take it out of the box for the first time, power it on, register your account, how does everything look? This is how it looks.